Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Recently, I've been really interested in film photography. I've been watching a ton of film photography videos on YouTube and it's really inspired me to pick up a film camera and head out and take some photos. One of the things that draws me so much to film photography is it kind of takes me back to the roots of photography and it makes me want to shoot things that I would never usually shoot with digital. When I pick up a film camera, I find myself wanting to shoot anything, seemingly insignificant things, all of a sudden look interesting to me. And I love that, I love feeling like that. I used to feel like that every day when I just got into photography, when I just first picked up my digital camera, I was shooting everything. And that is really what photography is all about and I love that I feel that way. So yesterday, me and my girlfriend went out exploring, we checked out a few different places and I shot two different rolls of 35 millimeter film on my Nikon FM2 with a 50 millimeter F1.8 lens. The first roll was a Fuji Superior Premium 400, which looks really nice. And the second one was Lomography 400, which I think is my favorite. But yeah, we just kind of walked around on a photo walk, uh, took some pictures, just kind of hung out and had a good time. And I actually shot two rolls of film last week at Hideout Bali, which is like the number four Airbnb in the world. It was absolutely insanely beautiful. It's this Airbnb up in the mountains, up in the jungle, and it was amazing. Shot two rolls of film and I ruined them both. I completely underexposed them and it really sucked. I was super disappointed. Um, but I'm super new to film, you know, this isn't something I do often and mistakes are going to happen and you just got to kind of take it in stride. So, so the goal of yesterday was to expose properly and hopefully not underexpose my photos like I did the first time and hopefully come away with some good photos. So without further ado guys, I hope you enjoy this little photo walk here in Bali. There's definitely some cool shots that came out of it. So this is actually my favorite beach. Uh, I come here a lot of evenings just because it's so nice. It's really close to our house and it's just chill. There's always a bunch of dogs out here and there's a nice little cafe over there too, which I'm going to shoot after we shoot this beach a little bit more. That was a really cool little scene down there. I hope, hopefully I got it. Uh, like I said, the last two rolls that I shot, I like mega underexposed. So I'm overexposing today. So hopefully it works out. I actually really love this place right here. Let's get my exposure real quick. Exposed for those shadows. A little bit smoky over here. I think the farmers are burning nearby, so it's a little bit smoky. Let's head over here to the beach. These things look really cool. I love this. Hope it looks cool. Yeah, sure, man. Ready, one, two, three. Nailed it, man. <laughs> yeah, no worries, bro. I think we got a lot of cool stuff at this beach. I don't know, you guys know, you guys have seen the photos. I haven't seen them yet, but um, there's a cool village nearby and we drove around there yesterday just kind of checking it out and it's really cool there's even some old cars over there too so i say we head over there and see if we can capture some of those cars as well let's go it's 
stop and get a coffee real quick. Hello, hello, good morning. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. You too. Saw that kid yesterday. Hello. He was out here riding his bike yesterday. <laughs> Same bike. Love this car, man. This is this is probably one of my favorite streets. Oh man, the kids aren't here, but it still looks so cool. This is cool. This is so film right here. This is perfect for film right here. There's like a man over there on his bike in the middle of the rice paddies. I wish I had a zoom lens, man. Oh, I can, I can get him. Let's see this. Let's see if I can do this. Perfect. Oh shit, I finished the roll. I have more film in the car or, or in the bike. I'm gonna go get it. I have a Lomo 400, so we'll shoot that next. We'll just expose for like the grass right here. I'm gonna shoot that goal post over there. So we'll do 250th of a second at f16. Could go f22. I just don't know how this lens like performs at f22, so we'll just stick it at f16. I wish there was kids here. Yesterday we drove by and there was all these kids out here. I love this. If that cow would look at me, this is gonna be really nice. Hey cow. Hey cow. No, don't move. No. No. Wait. Got him. Got him. Perfect. One more. Can you see? Go back there. I, th I hope I got that old man on the bike. Hello. Uh, can I take your photo? Okay. Beautiful. One, two, three. And one, one more. One more. One, two, three. Hello, <laughs> Makasi. That was cool, man. The people in this village are so sweet. They're all like down to get their picture taken. I think that's so cool, man. They're really cool about it. a lot which is like a super popular tourist destination here most of the year it's like a water temple and there's nobody here it's super weird it's just a ghost town man and um 
it's kind of sad because like all these little businesses out here, you know, it looks like they're kind of struggling. A lot of them are closed up completely. Um, yeah, man, just an unfortunate thing. So I only have a 50 millimeter lens, which means I can't like shoot this whole thing, unfortunately. So I've got three exposures left on the last roll of film. I, I wish I brought more film, but it's actually so hot. So we kind of want to go home anyways, but found this really cool old basketball court here. Uh, lots of cool colors. The nets are on the court. So it like, doesn't look like that cool, but there's a lot of cool lines and stuff. So we're going to take a, a few exposures here before we head home. And uh, yeah, I think they're cool. I can't wait to see these images, man. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed some of the photos that you saw in there, there's definitely some really cool ones. I was really drawn to the photos from the beach, the first ones uh, with the little chairs uh, and just some of the other shots of the beach. I also really like that shot of the side of the building in the rice paddy area and then also some of the shots towards the end, the courts and the shots of the water temple, those are really cool. And then also the car, there was just a lot of cool shots. Um, and honestly, when I shot those photos, I really wasn't sure how they were going to come out. I was worried that I was going to underexpose or overexpose, but I nailed the exposure for the most part. And I'm super happy with how they came out and I'm so inspired to shoot more film, hopefully medium format and also just more 35 millimeter film as well. All these photos were developed at Labrana Bali, which is this really cool little film studio here in Bali. They've been awesome. They've lended me cameras. They've advised me on film. And that's really important when you're first starting out in film is like having a little bit of guidance because honestly, I've been shooting digital for many years, uh, but film photography is a different beast. So they've been really helpful with that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this casual little photo walk. If this is something you want to see more of, if you want to see me shoot more film, maybe some medium format, leave a comment down below letting me know so I can make more in the future. Also a comment, which photo was your favorite? There's a lot of photos that were posted. Just let me know which one is your favorite. I'm super curious about that. But once again, thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next week.